See where the charge of play are going this time. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I'm one of the few bands to actually pay me to do to do radiation, which is so fucking cool. Well, too technically, if you include spiders from the quest as well. Yeah, man, you're awesome. Thank you, Cole. This is brand new by the children, man. Released not too long ago. The latest release, man. Sir. I love the keyboard with the drums. That's fucking cool, man. It's different. In a, in a, in a good way. That's what I meant. Oh man, the bass is so high on this. Like, yo, like, you know how like the mixing got fixed on the last song? The mixing stranger. Like the vocals are too low. It's not just it's not just me, like the vocals are too low. Like I know the vocals are, are an instrument and they're meant to be in a place, but I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on me, but where this is placed, like that bass tone, so like the vocals here, the bass was here, man. Like the bass was way through up. That's weird, man. Maybe, maybe it's intentional. Maybe it's not, man. But. Yeah, listen to that bass and that tone, man, that's so... It sounds intentional to me, but... It's like his vocals are sunk into the music, which is... It's a cool effect, but do I like it? That's the question. I don't know. I honestly don't know. No, it's not out to my face. It's very well mixed, it's just... I would put the vocals up about a touch, like about one or two decibels up. Oh man, in your life for me, I'd like to put the vocals up about this much, like a smidge. A smidge up. And it would be perfect, but that's just me. I think like this was done very much intentionally. I think his voice is meant to be flowing up and down with the music. The music's, the music's meant to be going around it. Like it's like an intentional producing point rather than something that's not meant to be there, which is interesting. It's it's like a cool effect, but I'm not used to it. I think I think this one's more of a grower than a like I'm gonna like it instantly. I think I'm gonna like it as I listen to it more than rather than straight out the like gate because it's different but that's just but that's just me in it but still so look into my eyes a future is so bleak a heart so cold my socket blank into the core the socket like it's like eyes and his like ears and his nose and his mouth all like black into the core to straight like almost death like incarcerated in the skin until i drift away my lungs, my heart, my mouth scream death's melody. So yeah, blackness goes in. Like his features become nothing and then he dies. Always go into that death scream, that melody, whichever way you want to describe it. Never gaze into the eyes of the dead, for the curse shall be laid upon your flesh. One last breath before the freezing frigid still. My body as cold as winter's ice. My soul condemned and damned. Nowhere for us to go swimming in the ethereal black. My body has gone cold. This is just describing death. Describing that looking into the reaper's eyes. Looking into the eyes of the dead. Whichever way you want to go. Like how your body freezes. How like how you start to to decompose and go cold. And your, your organs start working. And 
then moving on to how the soul is starting to go down, to be condemned and damned into either heaven or hell, if you believe in those things, if not into nothingness, into just eternal sleep or whichever kind of vibe you want to go with it, like it's just kind of like that kind of way. Nowhere for us to go, swimming in the ethereal black, which basically they're in nothingness, they're in the void, which is kind of what most atheists believe in. So yeah, we get the idea of what the song is about, it's definitely about death, but still. <laughs> Ah, the man, let's see. Where are we going? Honestly, now that I'm talking about it, the vocals are already growing on me where they are. That's so weird, man. At first, I didn't like it, and now, like, what are we, like, two and a half minutes in? And this is growing on me. I guess they really know what they're doing. What's up, Hunter? How you doing, man? I love it, man. You can hear it building and building and building off Twitter, man. That's interesting. So different. Definitely a grower, but amazing nonetheless. I love the evolution of this band, man. Like, the evolution is perfect. You can see how much they're improving as vocalists and musicians and with the new sound technician, they're fucking becoming really, really, really good. This is draconian vibes, however. This is pure draconian. No, it's not. Sadly for this room, but good for the music. Whichever way. Fucking day, man, that's a vocal line. I love the reverberation on that vocal line, man, that was ridiculous, I must say. Ooh, man, those kicks, man. That was cool. I love it. Weirdly, like the way that it's kind of built, it's not into the Hellfire, but it's built exactly the same way as into as into the into the Hellfire as the song. Like it's very much like in that way where it's all leading up to that basically like where the end of into into the Hellfire is basically death, right? So like this is what this falls into. It's exactly the same way. I'm done differently, like very differently, but concepts conceptually the same fucking thing. But still. So, I hear the reaper call, my damning name. It stands at the foot of my soul. That's such alignment. I love that, like, lyricism. Lyricism is fucking awesome. Awaiting my last breath, the forgotten calling me from the great beyond. Alas, my heart has, grow has, has grown cold. I was forsaken from the start, and never gazed in the eyes of the dead. For the stare shall carry you beyond hell into nothingness, man. Don't stare into the eyes of the reaper you are literally like... Like, going into that place when you've got hell, and then you've got past that, which is probably nothingness, which is where he ends up. Because he's, because he's, he's stared into the eyes of death. Which could basically mean, like, if you try to attempt suicide, or you try to end your life in some way, you go to nothingness instead of a place which is fucked up. But that's kind of the vibe I'm really getting towards it anyway. Then I hear the grave calling my name, awaiting death's cold embrace. No more tears are shed, for I am not thy light. Amongst these woods, the branches place my decay. 
Like, the branches place my decay is like the branches place my grave, like the trees are above watching the grave from above going down below. Lay to rest among the nightshades. The plumes of poison fill my body, like the poison from death, you know, how your body breaks down and all the gas is released. And a sweet, serene death takes me onward in death. Like, yeah, just straight into death at the very, very end. But yeah, fucking awesome song. The, the vocals grew on me, which is good. So, where, where the children play are quickly becoming, like, one of my favourite bands, which is so fucking cool, considering where they started on the channel, where their mixing was all over the place, and now they're getting really, 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 they're getting really, really dialed in, and really good, really powerful with their lyrics, and the way they're performing their music, and everything else in between, man, but still, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, man, this was awesome, have a wonderful day, man, thank you so much for watching, take it easy. Yeah.